Okay, welcome back to the Techmoto channel and the electronics playlist. So after I posted um, the last video on transistors and semiconductors, quite a few people asked me about how to actually build a circuit with a uh, real life transistor. And so I thought it'd be a good idea just to put a quick video together uh, showing you a quick bre breadboarding of a transistor circuit. So here we have a BC108 uh, transistor. Um, it's got three legs on it, the base, the collector, and the emitter, as I described in the previous video. Um, the important thing here is it's got a sort of top hat um, design to the casing of the transistor. Uh, and you can tell which one is the emitter because it's got a little tab on it. And I'll throw a little image up on the screen so you can see it more clearly. Uh, the little tab on the casing is um, next to the leg that's the emitter. So obviously then the middle one is the base and the other one is the collector. So I'm going to put this into my breadboard and you have to make sure that you put them in the right holes so that those legs are not connected together. Okay, next thing to do is to take a power line. So we'll run this into the power lines of our breadboard. If you're unsure how, of how to use a breadboard, you can watch the breadboard video, which is one of my first videos on this series. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a few wires. Now, we want to connect the positive from our power rail to our collector. Now that's the uh, pin that does not have the tab on the top hat of the transistor. The next thing to do is to connect uh, the base with a wire, but don't take it anywhere yet. We're also going to take another wire from the positive, and this is going to be our switch to our base. So when these two are connected together, it supplies current to the base of our transistor, which allows the current to flow from the collector to the emitter. And then all we've got to do is add a resistor. So this is a 220 ohm resistor, not quite enough for what we want, but we'll run the resistor over here to this side of the breadboard. And then we'll run an LED from there to our negative line. Now, if we take a battery and we put the battery on here, nothing should happen. There we go. So nothing's happening because the transistor is blocked. That PNP, um, sorry, this is a, a BC108, so it's an NPN transistor, is blocked by that positive material in the middle. However, you need a small amount of current to turn it on. Now, just to prove how small the current is that you need to turn on the transistor from the base, what I'm going to do is grab hold of this wire, which is going into the base of the transistor with one hand, and I'm going to grab the other wire with my other hand. And you can see that the light comes on. Now, that's passing the current from the 9 volt battery through my body back to the base of the transistor, which is allowing the current to flow through the transistor from the collector to the emitter or emitter to the collector, depending on how you want to think about it, and then through the LED. So just touching it with my hand turns the LED on. Very simple. Now, what's cool about this circuit is you can get um, loads of people to hold hands, have one person on one end of the chain holding onto one wire and somebody else on the other end of the chain holding the other wire and the light will still come on. Now, I've done this with classes of 30 children. Um, I did it once with 88 people all in a line holding hands and the two people on either end um, touching the wires and the light came on. Um, so just to prove how small a current you need to turn the transistor on. So there you go. Simple circuit. Um, I hope you liked it. If you've got any questions, as always, put them in the comments. Um, please do like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.